This is the Amiga Duo PSU, and you know, I've been looking for a replacement for my Amiga PSUs, my original ones, for a long time. They've been getting battered, they're kind of really heavy as well, and you know, I, I just think you've got all this expensive hardware, and the one thing that you want to replace is the PSU, because uh, you've got all this expensive hardware, and, and, and that's the point where all the power comes in. Now... This is a cool little device. It's from Poland. It's really light, incredibly light and small, but it powers two Amigas, which is mental. So it supports the A500, A500+, Plus, A600, A1200, A590, and the CD32. So what you do is you specify which leads you want at the beginning and uh, which power plug and then they will supply you with the leads and they are absolutely gigantic leads. I couldn't be happier with this. So I thought, you know what, let's do a little video on it and look into the further details. Now this is my old Amiga 600 power supply. This has been touring with me when I've DJed and uh, you know, it's pretty dirty, it's wrecked. It's probably about 30 years old and uh, they were notoriously bad, you know. I'd sometimes kick the power supply and it would reset. So <laughs> I really needed a new one and uh, a bit of stability. And that's what this one provides. A UK plug, which is really awesome. And uh, these are the ends which fit into the Amiga. And these were really huge cables. And these are the other ends. They're really nice. And they fit into the main PSU. And they've got these little pullback things. So basically you put it in and then you can pull it back afterwards and uh, that means you're not yanking it in and out of the power supply so you know it's gonna last a lot longer now there's not much i can actually say about this other than it works and it's pretty fantastic being able to run two amigas off one power supply now like i said before this came from poland and i was worried being from the uk you know about customs and stuff like that. Am I gonna get stung by it? But I wasn't at all. It arrived in a really cool little box. Um, you know, it came with instructions. It was well packaged. I got no charges on it or anything. Uh, I think it's just like such a nice little device. It's ROHS compliant. Um, yeah, just absolutely beautiful. And you know, I recommend this to anybody looking to downsize their kit because I DJ and uh, I tour with two Amigas and I've been trying to kind of reduce the size and the weight of my kit that I'm taking around because I have to lug it around and everything. And this is just amazing. And also, you know, when you are touring, all right, you've got older computers and you turn up with an old power supply. Often technicians or people working at the venues get really kind of freaked out when you bring something out that's quite old and they're like, oh God, okay. And you know, you have to get it pat tested. You have to do all of that where this is all tested and it's just absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'm not going to chuck it, but um, it is so light. It's like a, a kind of Nokia 3210 or one of those old school phone equivalents. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the channel and ring the bell, whatever that means. Also, don't forget to check out the Retro Hour podcast, which is our awesome podcast every single Friday where we interview some of the best people in the world of video games. It's me, Joe Fox and Dan Wood. And every single week for nearly 300 episodes, We've bought you some fantastic episodes of amazing guests of all kind of video game systems. And I'm sure you will find something you love. So check out the retrohour.com. Also on your favorite podcast provider, search for The Retro Hour. Thank you and see you soon.